you and I are called to trust God. Now, my own perspective on trusting the Lord is that I don't need to have all the answers because I know the one who knows all the answers. I don't need to know what the plan is because I know the planner. I don't need to know the why if I know the one. I don't need to know the how because I trust him. The Bible says in Psalm 37, verses 3 through 6, Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him, and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn, and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. I believe that God is pleased when we trust him to such an extent that we can say whatever awaits me in the future, I'm facing it with Jesus. Whatever comes against me, I'll be protected by Jesus. And here's the thing about faith and trust in the Lord. A lot of times, you'll have to walk with God without knowing. In fact, Faith can be summed up in the following way. Faith is doing your part, which is trusting God to do his part. Your part is to believe. That's all you need to do. And then you leave God to do his part. Your part is to stand on God's word. His word says that nothing is impossible with God. Let me ask you, are you doing your part? Are you believing and standing on God's word? Faith is not necessarily something tangible. It's not something you can put your hands on and control. Faith is the substance of hope and the evidence of the unseen. This means to me that if you can see it, it isn't faith. If you can explain it or control it, it isn't faith. Many of us try to orchestrate and control everything in our lives until one day we're faced with things that are outside of our control. And the truth is, the most important things in life are out of our control. You can exercise and diet all you want, but disease can still come knocking on your door. We can build magnificent buildings and structures, but we must still bow to the power of a tornado, a hurricane, or an earthquake. These things remind us that we are not in control. But I want you to understand that it's during times like these, when we feel out of control, that we are reminded of the purpose of faith. Faith enables us to be comfortably out of control, even though we cannot control things like disease, nature, or death. We have faith that God has a plan and that God will have the last word. And so as we approach the throne of grace, let us ask God to help us to move into a space where we are comfortable without knowing. Ask him to move us to a place where we can be comfortable, not because we have all the answers, but because we know who our answer is. His name is is Jesus. My Heavenly Father, we trust in you. We trust in you, Lord Jesus, to sustain and provide for us. We trust in you to preserve and protect us, to defend us, and to shield us from all evil. I pray, Lord, that in those moments when we are weak, strengthen our faith. Help us, Holy Spirit, so that we should not harden our hearts, but help us to believe. Help us to believe fully and without reservation in all the promises of God. Father, help me to fearlessly believe in Exodus 14, verse 14. It says, The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. God, help us to boldly embrace your word. Help us to embrace it boldly with no doubt. Help us to declare and hold on to Isaiah 40, 
verses 29 through 31. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. I pray for strong faith, God. I pray that I may stand up for Jesus Christ and testify of how he turned my mourning into dancing. Give me strong faith, Lord, so that I may stand on your word in a world that is lost, in a world that aims to discourage and drain hope. As your children, we pray for the faith that will enable us to live in the authority that we have been given in Luke 10, verse 19. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Give us the faith, Lord Jesus, to walk in this authority as ambassadors of the Most High. Lord, I thank you for your unending love. You, King Jesus, are the wellspring of our hope. So even if life disappoints and friends turn their backs on us, God, we're grateful that we can always count on you to be our rock and our refuge. John 7 verse 38 says, He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Father, may the rivers of living water flow from every part of our lives. May your living water flow over our hearts and souls and fill us with faith. Lord, I look forward to a future with you. I embrace a future that is in your hands, one that's filled with love, filled with mercy, and with goodness. As I reach out in prayer and in faith, I place my hopes, my dreams, and plans all in your hands. So as long as you are for me, Lord Jesus, nothing can stand against me. I will continue to place my faith in you because you are a God who has held me up every time I didn't have the strength to stand on my own. Father, I thank you for being so faithful, and I bless your holy name. It's in the mighty and matchless name of King Jesus, our Lord, that we pray this prayer. Amen. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him, and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn, and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. 